Okay, for question 13, we got a card which is drawn at random from a pack of 52 playing cards. So this is the standard pack. And then you replace the card. The process is repeated for 260 times. How many times would you expect the card to be drawn for it to be a seven? So we need to know how many sevens are in the pack. So in the pack, there's going to be seven of diamond, seven of club, seven of spade, seven of heart. So there's going to be four cards out of 52, okay, which simplifies to be one out of 13. So this is your probability of getting a seven, which is one on 13. And to get the expected number, the expected number is the probability times the number of trials. So your probability here is one on 13 times 260. And this will give you 20. So your answer for part A is 20. Now B is a red queen. Well, there's two red queens. There's a red, there's a queen of hearts and a queen of diamonds. So the red queens are actually two cards. So this would be two cards out of 52 which is one out of 26. So your probability of a red queen is one on 26, and your expected number is one on 26 times 260. So that should give you 10. So we expect 10 red queens from that. A red card, how many red cards are there? There are 26 red cards out of 52. So a red card chance is a half. So when we multiply that by 260, we expect around 130 red cards. So that's your answer for question C. A heart, how many hearts are there? There should be 13 hearts because that's one suit. 13 out of 52 is one out of four. So your probability of a heart is one on four. And for your expected number, it's a quarter times the number of trials, which is 260. So you're going to get 260 divided by four, which is 65. So we expect a heart around 65 times. And a card with an even number. An even number is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have five cards, but you have four suits, don't you? So there's actually 20 even numbers. 20 even numbers in the pack. So it would be 20 out of 52 times 260. And when we calculate that, we've got 20 divided by 52, which is five on 13 times 260, which will give you 100. So we expect even numbers around 100 times out of 260, so a bit less than 